How's it going everybody? My name is just Jared, but you can just call me Jared, your one-stop shop for legendary loot news and info, no grind or limbs required. Today we're talking about Destiny 2. There's been some news that just dropped basically today, earlier, and this is going to be a less scripted video because there's not much to talk about, but I'd like to update you because there is some news on loot. First of all, Destiny 2 Shadowkeep and New Light has been delayed two weeks. So instead of launching on September 17th, it's going to launch on October 1st. So a little bit more in the creepy Halloween month, we're going to be getting Shadowkeep as well as New Light. Basically, Luke Smith and team at Bungie just said that they need more time to work on it, make sure everything is ironed out. No problem with me, no problem with most of the community. We're all like, okay, two weeks is nothing. Uh, that being said, as far as loot goes, we got a really, really nice image that showcases what I'm assuming is the Moon's armor set for all three classes. And this is that image. You've got the Titan, who looks like, definitely looks like, uh, basically, astronaut suits. In Destiny 1, the Titan had the Takonaut astronaut helmet, so maybe that'll be returning with the Shadow Keep expansion as an exotic. Who knows? But so far, the armor looks pretty cool, but it definitely looks like the planetary armor that you'll be able to get just from patrolling moon and doing things like that. Patrols on the moon, but I like the armor. It looks pretty cool, looks pretty wicked, looks kind of creepy vibe to it. I love the hunter cloak and the hunter helmet. I'm a main hunter, so just saying. It looks pretty sweet. So there's that. We don't know anything much about them. As far as the guns they're holding, um, the hunter's holding the loud lullaby, which is a legendary hand cannon. Uh, it looks like the warlock's holding a scout rifle and the titan's holding a shotgun. Warlock looks like it could have a sword on its back as well, not 100% sure, but this is at least finally some armor 100% that we see an image of for the Shadow Cape expansion. Now if we go down to the next image that they actually put up, we got some like silhouettes of guardians that we can see, and we can actually see if you zoom in on one of the guardians, they're holding a hand cannon with a scope. Now in the Bungie Out of the Shadows Vidoc, they showed off the only hand cannon with a scope, which was an exotic, that basically shot like a sniper. So maybe that is that, and we'll actually be getting it with the launch of Shadowkeep. When the Out of Shadows Vidoc released, all the stuff that they were showing behind the scenes, we weren't 100% sure if it was, hey, this is going to be in Shadowkeep, or hey, this will just be in the future sometime in Destiny. But maybe confirmation that that hand cannon is actually almost complete and they're working on it and it's going to be in shadow keep when it launches but that definitely looks like that same hand cannon but essentially that's it for the video something super short and sweet just showing you guys the new armor the new loot that you can earn that's what this channel is about talking about the new loot Figured I'd throw in that info of Destiny 2 being delayed, or at least Shadowkeep being delayed, and New Light being delayed. It's only two weeks. Uh, personally, I don't care. Two weeks is nothing. I did just, just yesterday requested the 17th and 18th off of work. Now I have to go back, take that off, and request the first and the second off of work, but that's okay. Anyways, it's fine. You know, the real reason, the real reason Bungie is taking a little bit more time is because they want to have more time playing Borderlands 3 once that comes out before they actually have to get back to working on Shadowkeep. I know how they work. That's definitely how it is. Anyways, that's a, that's a positive at least. Borderlands 3 now comes out. They come out like three, four weeks separate now instead of one week or five days it was before. So at least that gives anybody who's excited to play Borderlands 3 some time before Destiny starts. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Like the video if you think Eris Morn is going to die in the Shadowkeep expansion just like they killed Cade in Forsaken, and subscribe if you think she's going to live. You see what I did there? You're either going to have to like or subscribe now. I gotcha. Peace out.